What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Time to continue playing Terror Online. Oh, yeah. Or is it just called Terror? I think it's just Terror. Okay, but well, yeah, so. I'm gonna test something quickly. Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> oh god. See, so yeah, I also realized one thing that I've been doing that's kind of a bad thing. Um, my... My, uh... Record button, I had it set to F1. Which just so happens to also be my button for bandages. Tomorrow the world. So... That was an issue. Head west and look for piglings clustered around a stand of trees. Ooh, yeah. Vekas the Wicked has a thing for piglings, I guess. Oh, that sounds creepy. Let him pick on something his own size. Oh. Or at least something that's not a pig. I can do that. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Good to meet you. Thank you. One just make sure something. All right. So I need to go find Vekas. So I'll go this way. Excuse me. Okay, pigs are here, so should be nearby, I think. That him. No. But those I need. Die 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 die. Die. I was wondering about that because I remember I upgraded the skill and I was wondering why it was not my skill list, but I guess it's just automatic in some situations, I guess. Die, 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 die. Excuse me. Die, die, die. Come on, come on, die. Come on. Thank you. See, I did realize that there is a way of actually, um... <laughs> I just wanted to kill them. There's no point. <laughs> There's no real point of it, but... No. I need my clock. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Alright, sorry. So yeah, um, what I was saying, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, crap. What was I gonna say? I don't remember now. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. I hate how you cannot run with your... I can't really eat that. Stupid lower resolution. Okay. Vekis. Where art thou? Oh, yeah, that one. Okay, so, oh, yeah, what I was gonna say is, I I was playing another character and I had to fight a boss. And the character also had this back step. Which is nice, except sometimes when something's charging at you, back stepping doesn't quite help. Greetings! It just means you're gonna get hit about I didn't a second do it. later. 
So I was wondering why, if there was a way for me to actually friends um, are like books that write stuff. themselves. And I did by accident, but pretty much, if you find something head on, and you want to sidestep, it's actually quite obvious. You just turn, and then sidestep. That's all. So if, if I'm fighting something, let's say this lady is fighting me, oh my god, she's trying to kill me, and she's charging, and I want to sidestep, so I just go, and like that. It's actually kind of quicker. I was surprised. I was like, oh god, because I did it by accident, because the boss was not he was not very nice and allowed me to actually you know get away by just simply back uh sidestepping so yeah so i had to learn to do sidestep which kind of worked da 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 die i die da 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 see like that oh Very cool. I have no idea if it actually has any benefit to this game, but I think it's cool. It's fun. Cause I hate back, uh, backstepping. Cause you never run away. You never want to run away. Never. Let's get it done. But I do have a few qualms with this um, game. There are a few issues I have, and it's... They're not big issues. Like, honestly, to me, I think this, the UI in general... Has some problems. The bags look incredibly basic. Like, it was... Free MMO... 2010 kind Manners of Manners are what matters. Basic. It just looks Visitors absurdly teach simple. us much. The map itself is neat except when you press alt and if you have if you move your mouse you have to deal with this box the whole time. This is kind of annoying. The bar at the bottom, I'm not sure if they do that. I mean, I, un I understand the simplicity of it. They want it simple so it doesn't clutter up the, you know, the, the screen. So you immerse yourself further into the game. I, I guess that is a valid reason. But at the same time, it just How can I doesn't help? look good. It, the problem I find is this. I have a moment and for you. Had this issue countless times. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. I approve of whatever they decide to do. I wholeheartedly approve. Damn six. Okay, so yeah, what, what I'm saying kid? is, <coughs> is this worth my time? <coughs> For the Federation. For the Federation. Something important. This this is a. a trend for Korean games in general, such Korean games, is that they tend to, they make a lot of really good free Keep it MMOs together, people. out there. I play them quite a bit. The thing though is that they all have this tendency of having horrendous UI. Horrendous, it just does not feel smooth. It does not feel very nice at all and I've noticed this with a lot of the games in the past and I'm not quite sure it's it's almost as if they have a template of how UIs should look how what their purpose is how they should act and all that stuff and then in the end it just does not help it the It just kind of ruins it, honestly. 50, no. I'll go for that photo. I can sell all this stuff. So, I don't know, it's... 
it feels very clunky. It doesn't feel smooth. Like, I mean, I hate to bring up World of Warcraft, but although they do use a lot of money to make the games the way they are, they did it well. There is a nice feel to it. It doesn't feel at all problematic. It doesn't feel at all like you know clunky it just it has a very nice feel to it and I think for the cost of this game because honestly this game costs right now it's like sixty dollars for it on top of that you know there's gonna be like you know subscription base as well which I don't know the pricing for because they haven't announced it or something so when you have a game that is sixty dollars plus subscription base, it better damn well have a lot of you know time and effort put into making it feel actually worth that amount of money. And this game feels like visually it is nice. It is not the best looking game. Um, I still think in terms Can of I help? visuals. Probably Thanks one of help. the best looking MMORPGs out there, period, has to be Final Fantasy XIV. Granted, it's also one of the worst flops in history. <laughs> um, God, they ruined it. But no one can doubt or deny how amazing the game looked. Because it was absolutely stunning. It's pretty much when I played it, because I played it during the beta, the closed the beta, which was pre uh, E3 press. So it pretty much what we were playing is um, greetings. It was I had an NDA, non-disclosure agreement. So pretty much I was not able to post any videos, which I you wouldn't be able to do anyway. Hume, do. But wouldn't be able to post videos, uh, pictures, information, that kind of stuff, just because I was not allowed. Because for the Federation, because E3, they were going to showcase the game at E3, and this the beta was before, so I, you know, I was like, okay, guess I can't. But the point I was trying to make is, they forced us to play the game on max settings. We honor each other. I guess it's kind of like these ears which, await which your is words. fine, but my God, it for one thing it Fortune was killing the computer because I had it upgraded there. And but the visuals of that game, you can just be in the city or in the field or something, and you would just enjoy it. You don't have to be doing anything. You would just be loving the view. Skyrim has a really good. Uh, scenery. This game, it's really nice, kind of at a distance, up close. You not, it's kind of, um, I was just say, it looks nice, but sometimes, like walking over these flowers, I wish they would actually move. You know, subtleties, some kind of means to show that we actually are a part of this game because I know uh, I think it was Dragon's Nest I think they also do that so I mean it's the thing that makes games great is that they actually can pull off that kind of stuff okay piglins Hey, Gleams. Alright, I should continue. I should not rent more, but I should go and kill stuff. Oh god. Oops, oh wait, I have to kill this. I don't get that range. So this is kind of weird. Um, the range for that skill is very odd. 
Because it seems like it only occurs because I don't actually see the skill. It occurs when you use uh Baxa. I think it's Baxa, what is it called? Yeah, Baxa. Now here I am, I'm within distance. I accidentally pressed window key. Oh, that's annoying. Let me try it again. Come on. Okay, so I'm with. Now let me shoot. Okay, that time it shot. It hit him. So I'm still trying to get understand because it seems like yes, it does it whenever you backstep. But I've on occasion backstep and it was too far. So I'm not really sure why that would be the case. Like why would you have the skill enabled when you backstep? Now it's seen every time. Okay. okay. Maybe eventually it'll happen again and I'll be like, okay, see, that's my point. Um, okay, that quest is done. Is that all? Excuse me. You do get a mount in this game. Uh, my other character got the mount already. You get it at level 11, so another which is nice. For the Federation, fool. I like games where you can get mount pretty early because running large areas without a mount really sucks. Wait, am I still not done with this quest? Huh. <coughs> Drinking water. Is that person checking me out? What the hell? Ooh, pretty. Oh, I did not want to do that. There we go. Come on. I do love this mechanic, though. This... The... Doing multiple attacks this way is just so fun. I love it. Because, to me, what makes for a great game is when you have the... When you make it rather... Not necessarily simple, but when you make it really easy for you to be using your skills. Especially in this world, while allowing you to have control of them. Because a lot of games, they just simply give you that AoE circle. And you just have to attack within that circle. And it's like, okay, you do have control, but you don't necessarily have to be control. With this, it enables you to, on the fly, use your AoE, or multiple attacks, while having control and not relying on just a circle. Which is quite nice. Okay, let's go to the next area. Oh god. The chat for this game, although most people have moved on. Oh god. Again, like spikes. Why is my FPS dropping again? Oh. This is weird. I'm just looking at my uh, FPS. And it was steady at 25 because I have it set to 25 because 
25 to 30 is the frames per second that YouTube uploads at. If you're recording at anything above 30 and you're only up uploading onto YouTube, you're actually wasting it. The only time that it's beneficial if you're using it for other programs and such. Okay. Now it's fine. It's weird, I don't... I've noticed this happened before. It would just randomly start having frame issues. And it's not like the game itself is causing it. Because I... I mean right now it's at 25, it's not having any issues. So it's almost like my computer starts doing something else as I'm doing this. Uh. Oops, too late. If I could get this side step down, it would make this way easy. Right now I don't have the timing down. Okay. Also, I just love because the thing with this game is that well, I should put it this way: when you're playing other video games, certain attacks are dependent. Oh, they have a range, and they say what the range is. The range is X meters. Um. Now, the issue I find is that. Almost in no way does the actual numerical number of how many meters away influence how you play the game. You may get accustomed to the distance, but in your mind, you're not necessarily um, you're not necessarily thinking of the exact meters. Granted, there are some people who dissect the game to such an extent that they actually do do that. With this though, when you're looking at a skill and it says it's X meters away, like you can attack at 18 meters. Uh, that is actually useful information because if you look at my cursor, and the target is 17 meters away. My skill can attack 19 meters away. So I know I can start attacking this distance, which allows me to actually get even further and do more damage before they even get to me. And this is also why I like doing side step instead of the standard back step. Because these guys, they do that rolling attack. And if you just. Oops. If you just. Um, back step, they're gonna run into you. <laughs> You're not really moving out of the way, you just. Furthering the gap. So it comes in handy. Although I'm missing my arrow every time I do that. So I might have to adjust my time. There's, there isn't a delay. When you're holding your attack, you should always expect to do your arrow. Or do your attack one more time after you let go of the mouse. Because this happened a lot with my sorcerer dude. I would be attacking and what would happen is I would in my head I'll be like okay now I need to back step so I stop attacking but when you let go of a mouse it does one more additional attack because the timing is really very slim so when you're playing this kind of game it, you want to actually let go of the mouse 
almost a second more than you normally would. So Such if you're already boldness. thinking, okay, I need to start um, backstepping now, if that's when you do it, you're already going to be too late. So you have to do it a you know, second or half a second before that actual time. That is the best way. Especially a sorcerer, because I kept getting hit and I was like getting annoyed. Like, why? 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 Why are you still hitting me? So, yeah. <coughs> Bokori! Oh, they're so cute. New drinking game. Take a drink every time someone mentions wow. have my attention <laughs> okay onward <coughs> oh this would be great Let's just we drop the hair. What? I would love a game that would censor the word wow and name world of craft. I would so get a kick if a game actually did that just out of humor. Oh. Everything's gone crazy. And according to plan. <laughs> okay, um... What should I go to next? What? Oh, I have to go there. Oh, can't believe it's not butter. I'm hungry. Oh, I've only had a yogurt today. Oh. <laughs> okay. I yeah. didn't do it. Oh, I should go to that lady now. Onward! Upgrade. 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 Not in upgrade. But I'm gonna go with red. Oops. Wrong button. Okay. Lance Berserker, don't need that. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade my character, that's where I'm going. <coughs> God. I swear, the amount of times World of Warcraft... The story has a point. Seek improvement. What? Quickly. Stay true to the deal. The amount of times World of Warcraft is brought up in this game is just astounding. Okay, slow trap. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, buy to play, oh god. 
Oh, World of Warcraft and Guild Wars 2. That game's brought up as well. Now, so I wonder if I'm gonna still be able to play this. Because it's. Right now, I'm. Because of a club, I managed to get into this beta. Um, but this beta is only lasting two days, so I hope I get to play again. What? Keep running into things. I should test out my slow thing quick. Okay. Okay, he didn't really slow down there. Although he's kind of slow as is, so... Okay, so I'm gonna stop here and then I shall continue. Although I might just play my sorcerers and show you guys that. Uh, I shall see. I'm debating. I'm debating now. Because I'm not gonna be able to really get far. I had a rate. question, but I've forgotten it. Because I kind of wanted I to play this like an LP. About someone like you. But in hindsight, since this is just a demo. Where are we? I don't really have manners are what the matters. Time Visitors teach us much. To really just play this as an LP. Huh. Okay, so yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna uh I'll see. It's on the floor. So. Okay, I'll be back. Um I'll be doing the next part soon. So thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, thumbs up, all that fiasco stuff and things. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.